guys and welcome back to CNE. Today we're gonna give you some roommate advice kind of talking about our experiences with our roommates the past two years and how to make the most of your experience with your roommate. Um, this is for freshmen or people of all grades. So our first tip is mainly for freshmen. When you're going in, if you have like good friends from your high school that are going to the same college with you, I would recommend not living with them and doing a random roommate or finding someone on the Facebook page just because like it really pushes you to meet new people and that's kind of why you're there for college. If you feel more comfortable, maybe ask like that person to try to like get in the same building as you or maybe live on the same floor. Mm -hmm. um, you can still hang out with them, but just having a different roommate would help you meet new people. If you do have a random roommate, make sure you message them before you start school to kind of talk about like your living habits or maybe what each of you are going to bring to the room, like a fridge, microwave, things like that. Maybe talk about your interests, get to know each other. And if you guys do live close to each other, maybe scheduling a time to meet and like hang out. Once you do get to college, um, put in an effort to invite them out or get food, go to the gym, explore, something like that. Um, it's good to spend time with them and put like try to build a friendship. Mm -hmm. um, some people it just doesn't work out and that's completely okay. I think a lot of people have an idea in their head that their roommate is going to be their best friend, but I think very few people that actually works out that way and mm -hmm. you're lucky if it does and if it doesn't, it's like completely okay and you can live in peace and cordially together. Yeah, that happened to me my second year. Um, I had a random roommate. The girl I was gonna live with transferred. The girl just wasn't interested in building like a close relationship with like me as a roommate. Um, and that was completely fine with me. We didn't really talk, but we really like respected each other's um, like privacy and like different habits and stuff. If that happens to you, don't worry, it's totally normal. Um, sometimes it's nice to come home to a quiet room. Yeah, you'll get more stuff done without like someone constantly being like, hey, like, let's stalk this person on Facebook. Also, don't just stick to being friends with your roommate. So if you and your roommate really hit it off, that's great. And But try to also make other friends from other things. One of our previous videos was five ways to make friends in college. And in there, we talk about having friends from a lot of different places like Greek life, clubs, classes, majors, um, yeah, just having a wide variety of friends will really help if maybe your roommate transfers or your close friends transfer. Also, if there are like minor problems that you have, like Casey, her roommate would have like her boyfriend over and it was like every Wednesday all the time. I would say you should probably bring that up and be like, hey, I need to study. Do you think you guys will be going out to dinner or like, can you give me these hours this day? You can't expect them to know what you're thinking. I'm sure my roommate just thought I was okay with it. I am totally like non-confrontational, so I never brought it up and I just like ranted to my other friends about it. If I could go back, I would definitely bring it up. It's, it's your living space too and you should be comfortable if someone's like kind of taking up like a lot of the space or not really respecting like your time in the room but also if there's just like a minor thing where your roommate, your roommate is like doing homework until like 12 at night and like has the light on and you're trying to go to sleep and this is like an every once in a while thing maybe try not to say something you know I got up early last week and I probably woke her up and was loud because like things like that just happen when you live with people there are going to be minor things where it's like bothering you but it's probably not worth like starting something over because there are going to be a lot of times where they don't bring something up let it go if you can also my parents have always taught me this if you don't have anything nice to say don't say anything at all so if you and your roommate have a really like big argument or just a big conflict Really just try to avoid them and live peacefully. Just try not to fight, I guess. Like if you guys have tried to work it out cordially, like have tried to have an adult conversation and it just doesn't work, just let it go. It's totally fine if you guys just like live in the same place and just coexist with each other. Sometimes that will happen. Yeah, like my roommate. <laughs> Eric is getting so uncomfortable. <laughs> Put it nicely, we just did not see eye to eye on the way like a house should run and the responsibilities in a household so we tried to work it out didn't work out so we pretty much didn't speak for like the last six months it did suck when school gets stressful like life can get hard and not having like your room as a safe space was not fun if that does happen I would recommend like trying to see if you can switch rooms or something like that because I know especially in the dorms there are programs where you can like just say hey I want to move and it's like all done for you. I lived with like some other people and they're like my best friends. So I was like, I'm not gonna move out. And I guess she didn't wanna move. So we hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Please leave us comments down below telling us 
your roommate advice that can help a lot of other people going to college or people in college. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every week. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.